Listen to this. Good bone broth really can improve your health in many ways. Please guys, let's go through all the benefits and everything inside bone broth when we analyze what is inside. And let's see if bone broth is really a hype or is really a good food that we should be consuming on our diet. So when we go to the web and we look for bone broth, we can find terms and words related to bone broth to gut health, to skin health, metabolism, gaining muscle for your joints, for your bones. And also we can go to PubMed to go and see if there is enough evidence with bone broth. And when we go and see the evidence with bone broth as it is, we might not find very much. But this is something very important. By the way that we don't find with bone broth by itself is by looking at the whole thing. But when we start looking at the compounds inside bone broth and when we see the evidence in those compounds, this is going to be very interesting because let's remember something. What makes bone broth interesting is not the fact if it has studies made with the whole bone broth or not. The interesting thing in bone broth, it's very rare and very difficult to find in nature any natural food that's going to have the balance of nutrients that I'm going to talk about to you in a moment. So we are going to talk about what is bone broth? What are the nutrients inside bone broth? What are the health benefits of bone broth? Which is the good way of making bone broth and which is a bad way of, of making bone broth? Is it better if I make bone broth at home or is it better if I take bone broth in any other preparation like for example in this protein? Actually celebrity Salma Hayek recently told in an interview that one of her very good secrets for longevity was actually bone broth. And then she said that it was a little bit disgusting of making it at home and it took her a long time to make it but really that was one of our secrets. And when you go and see, is that just a hype or it's maybe Salma Hayek trying to build up any comment just for anything or is it something that it's really worth of studying? For me, it's been something very important of studying and actually I work for a company that's called Savvy that we make food and supplements. One of the foods that we've developed is actually bone broth concentrate. This one is of chocolate, it's absolutely amazing and delicious and it's something that is very naturally done with a very low process. It's not ultra process, it's a very low process as I'm going to tell you about in a minute. So let's go and review how bone broth is made. When we take large bones, let's remember when we cut a large bone inside it's the bone marrow. The bone marrow is going to be very important when we are making bone broth because all of the content from the bone, from the joint and from the bone marrow is going to start coming out. So we need to make broth for a very large amount of hours in between 8 to 12 hours. Slow cook so this happens. So there's a big difference in making a broth from bones that you put in water for 20 or 30 minutes with what you make for several hours. Because what you're looking at is for the fat and for that gelatin content that comes up when you're making the broth for a good amount of hours and when you do this you let it cool for some minutes or maybe for an hour and that content, that gelatin that you have that it's kind of solid or that it's floating over the liquid content, that is what you want. That you can take it out and you can spray dry it with just air and put some chocolate and this is what we have in this one. So let's review this natural nutrient rich gold mine which is when you have the bone broth concentrate. Remember it's very different a regular short term broth to the bone broth concentrate. You should be looking for concentrate. When we make this protein is made from the concentrate not from the whole broth. What are we going to find? We're going to find collagen collagen type 1 and type 2. Remember that collagen type 1 and type 2 are the most abundant in the body, especially type 1 and type 2 is very important for our joints. Maybe you have heard of glucosamine that it's very good for joints. Well, glucosamine is one of the glucosaminoglycans that are part naturally occurring in bone broth. Also bone broth is very high in an amino acid called glycine. Glycine has many functions but one of the functions is glycine makes part of one third of all 
the amino acids in collagen. So when we have good amounts of glycine in our diet, we can have glycine for all the rest of the functions that we have in our body, but also we're going to have good amounts of glycine to reconvert or to produce naturally good amount of the 28 or 29 depends on how you want to see it types of collagen that we have in our body it has very good amounts of glutamine and this is something very important because glutamine is good for our muscles but the best thing for what i use glutamine in my clinical practice is to recover intestines when they are highly permeable or when we have leaky gut. When we have leaky gut, we have an intestine that is being more permeable to things that it shouldn't be permeable at all. That those tight junctions that we have in our intestine are open and that is a problem. When we give good amounts of glutamine, it helps recover that. And this is something that Dr. Alessio Fasano at Harvard has shown several times. And this is one of the things where glutamine is very important. Let's talk about the minerals that are going to occur naturally in bone broth. There is a very little study showing in PubMed showing that people, that they prepared some, some bone broth in a lab and they found some levels of metals in the bone broth. But we need to remember something that are called nutritional synergies. And nutritional synergies work in a way in which I might have a nutrient that is very important for a function or to make it better or to make it worse with another nutrient. And minerals occurring naturally in bone broth, if for any instance we might end up having any metal in the bone marrow of the chicken or the cow or any of the sources, it's going to bind to that metal so we don't absorb it and this is going to be very interesting let's review the minerals that we might find naturally in bone broth these are going to be calcium magnesium copper iron manganese potassium sodium and zinc so when we look at all this what are going to be the health benefits that we're going to find from bone broth so the first one really is skin health because if I'm making better giving the glucose aminoglycans giving keratin, giving collagen, giving glycine, which is very important for the skin, it's going to be very good for our metabolism and our cardiovascular health. But also glycine is very important to lower the damage of fructose that it's caused during the day in the liver. So glycine is very important for this process and this is one of the most dangerous process when people get insulin resistance. So let's go and review some of the questions that you might, that many people have about bone broth. Do I need to go with organic chicken? And the, ans the short answer might be yes, because organic chicken has a lower chance of getting metals in the bone marrow of chicken. When we make this bone broth protein, we make it from organic chicken. But if you don't have the chance of getting organic chicken and you can make it on a regular way, remember that bone broth naturally has good amounts of iron, good amounts of vitamin C and good amounts of selenium that can bind to those metals in order that you cannot absorb it. Another question is if bone broth breaks my fast and the answer is yes. Everything that has amino acids or that has glucose or that has fats, everything that stimulates a nutritional sensor, glucose, insulin, uric acid, IGF, anything, is going to break my fast. And again, by the fact that you don't see a clinical trial made with bone broth, it doesn't mean that when we go and dig in, when we go deep inside looking for all the wide variety of nutrients, this is a food that we don't find this wide variety of nutrients in many things. So it makes it a very good choice for our diet. And please start the only person that can say if bone broth has done something for or your diet or not, it's you. So once you try it, give it a try and see how you feel. See how a lot of things might start working better in your body. Give it a try and let us know. Best way to let us know is go here in the comments and leave a comment so we can read it and we can know what has been your journey with bone broth concentrate. And please remember before you leave to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and please remember to hit the bell so we can be in, so we can be in touch with you every time we make new videos.